Alright, what is up you guys? Uh, it's Jordan from Microsoft HD back again with another video and today I'm going to be giving you a quick uh, photo booth review of the new photo booth for Mac OS X line. I know this has uh, been out for a while but I decided to make one. Also, uh, I am sorry I haven't made a video in about a month, probably, no, uh, maybe not long, about a few weeks now and uh, and yeah, I just, uh, I've been very busy. Um, I've got work, school, all that sort of stuff. Just started school um, about a week ago, so um, just getting back into that routine, and uh, I will be uploading uh, uploading at least a video a week, I hope. Um, so, anyways, today I'm going to be giving you, as I said, a photo booth review for Mac OS X Lion. Now, uh, I don't know if this will work because I've already got the eyesight running, but I can try and use it. Um, so, let's uh, start off by actually, we'll go full screen. Um, give you guys the full effect of it. Um, so let's do the first one, Space Alien. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Uh, it has face recognition as you see if I block my face. It probably won't do it. Um, so yeah, as you can see my awesome Hugo Boss shirt that I bought in Thailand and down here is just photo album. Uh, I'm not going to go into that because they're kind of really weird stupid f pictures. Uh, next you've got Nose Twirl where it basically just twirls your nose as you can see. Um, looks kind of stupid, um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, when I was looking at my, getting a Mac, here's a chipmunk effect by the way. When I was looking at getting a Mac, I'm sorry, it's hard to take me seriously with this, but uh, just <laughs> do your best. Uh, when I was first getting a Mac, um, I tried to look up, I really like photo, uh, photo booths, so I looked up a bunch of stuff on that, and um, I never really found any, so... Uh, <laughs> Um, I decided to uh, go ahead and get one of these. Then you've got Love Struck, as you can see. Kind of like follows you around. I think what's the bird effect? Um, this is normal. Uh, you know, normal. Uh, is the dizzy effect, sorry. Um, they can look like little Twitter birds, a little chubbier though. Um, next one is Blockhead. This one's really weird. Um, it works on other people because um, my hair's kind of in the way. Um, as my sister, she's got her head like pulled back, so it's a lot easier for her. Um, next one is Bug Out. The next two, including this one, uh, are the best. They reckon they're so awesome. Then you can actually take it. Sorry, I haven't gone into much of this. You can do a bunch of different things, I believe. You can take video, you can take picture, and you can take like continuous picture. I think it takes like four pictures in a row, something like that. So just take a normal picture, like so. Uh, it counts you down. And sometimes it's funny, it doesn't work. Uh, like if you move really fast or do something like that, it won't actually render. And then you can do video, for example, as it counts down again. Um, this is it taking video. I can see in the bottom right corner right there. Um, it is giving you a time. You can stop it, whatever. Um, and then you can play back the video there. Oh, there. Um, this is it taking video. I can see in the bottom right corner right there. Um, it is giving you a time, you can stop it. Okay, and uh, then you can also share that onto Facebook, uh, Twitter, all that sort of stuff, I believe. Oh no, you can't, sorry, my bad. Um, add to iPhoto email, but you can still add to iPhoto and then share that and stuff, then just press escape to go back into the, uh, the sort of thing. The next one is Frog. Makes it look like a frog, obviously self-explanatory. The next set is kind of stupid, uh, but you know, if you want to take a photo, uh, it it works, I guess. Uh, and you've got black and white. Uh, you've also got glow. You can change it. Oof. I'll leave it there because it's a bit better. Um, next we have comic book. Uh, I don't think there's too much light in my room, so you won't see too much of it, but. You can see that, it looks pretty awesome. Um, the next one I've got is normal, then color pencil. Looks pretty awesome. Thermal camera, obviously it's not really thermal because obviously you can see my face and things will be thermal. And, uh, I think it's just, it takes colors and shades uh, and turns them to thermal, but uh, that's obviously not right because my back isn't thermal. Um, Obviously, I mean, my problem, my whole face would be like thermal because that's where you know you get the point. Uh, next is X ray, that's wow. Well, I like the shirt though, that looks pretty mad. 
Um, <clears throat> I hope I'm speaking loud enough for you guys. Um, then we'll pop up. That's pretty cool. Uh, Alright, next one is an another cool bunch of effects. <laughs> um, you can change them around however you like. Oof. Bulge. Okay, this one's kind of boring. It gets better until when you've got like dent and such. Ah. Uh, twirl. <laughs> um. What else? You got squeeze. Um. Mirror. I think everyone knows what this is. That's so weird. Uh, okay. Sorry, I just had to do that. It just looked kind of weird. Um, next one is the light tunnel. I don't really, uh, I don't really get the point of this, but uh, whoa. Uh, whatever. Next one we have fisheye. I don't really, I don't really see. Oh yeah, I get it now. Like a fisheye camera lens. Like yeah, I got it. I got it. Next one is stretch. Oof. Um, Alright, next bunch of ones we have. Now these ones are all, um, what do you call it? Uh, like kind of green screen looking ones, so I'm gonna... Okay guys, sorry for that cut. Basically all you have to do is just step out of the frame and stuff. But uh, yeah, anyways, that one is called... Oh... Am I still recording? Oh, good. I thought I just exited the screen threat flow. Uh, anyways guys, um, yeah. So basically, um, I might have a little dog in the background. Um, but yeah, that was... So Oh, what it's called. Um, Frodo Booth. I had a complete mind blank. Sorry, guys. Um, anyways, guys, that was Frodo Booth for the Mac. Um, that's about it for me. I will be doing a motion effects review. I'll be doing a bunch of different stuff. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching once again. Remember to hit that like button because it always helps me tremendously. Um, and also to uh, subscribe for all the latest updates, reviews, unboxings on things Mac and technology. Um, I will be doing a Samsung Galaxy S2, uh, most likely unboxing and review. Reason why I'm getting the Samsung Galaxy S2 is because I really have had enough of the iPhone. As much as it's really good with the iPhone 4, uh, it connects to the Mac, it does all that sort of stuff, but I just feel like it's not right. Uh, I just, I've I've had enough of it, and I like the bigger screens. Um, and as I, I believe the the iPhone 4s is like a 3.5 uh, inch screen, the Galaxy S2 is uh, 4.3. That's huge. I'm mostly considering getting the HTC Sensation XL, which is 4.7. Not a big jump from the 4.3 inch screen, but you know, I'm also considering getting the Motorola Droid Razor. But uh, out of the two main ones I'm considering is the uh, the Razer and the Galaxy S2. So um, I've been looking up a bunch of reviews and such. Um, as you can see here. Uh, also check out this guy right here. Uh, he does a lot of different um, uh, walkthroughs of things on things on B in computer. So go check him out. Um, definitely worth it. One of my friends at school as well. Um, so anyways guys, thank you for watching this video once again, as I said, uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to me uh, for all the latest updates, technology, and Mac. Uh, once again, thank you for watching for like the third, fourth time now. <laughs> anyways, I'm just going to go now, bye. Oh.